I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, it's time for a one year update on the SC600 water pump. So I installed this water pump right around New Year's 2018 when I upgraded this machine the existing water pump was an old Thermaltake P400 pump from probably around 2006 I think and it had many years of runtime on it and it was just getting tired I noticed when I upgraded the machine or when I was in the process of upgrading the machine how noisy the pump sounded and yeah it wasn't a very good sound either so I decided to replace the water pump. But with water pumps from brands like Swift Tech and whatnot going for real really high prices, you know, I did some searching around and I happened to find this little guy here. It's known as the SC six hundred water pump. And yeah, that that's simply what it's known as, the SC six hundred. About as generic as it gets. You can probably see the Chinese writing on the back of it and the SC600 on there. Yeah, pretty generic. Although this thing does have pretty good specs, so I can't remember exactly what they are off the top of my head, but I only paid about $26 for this pump off of eBay. Yeah, I didn't get much for it. And that was one of the things that many people were kind of skeptical of, is uh, you know, how could something so blasted cheap be reliable well I figured you know what the heck I'll give it a try so I bought the pump and the reason why I chose this specific pump because I wanted one that was very similar in format to the P400 and this is the closest I could find the only problems I had were um, the fittings that come off the P400 were just a bit too uh, deep for both the inlet and outlet so Instead of using the original O-rings, I had to use Teflon tape, which has worked perfectly fine. No issues with, no no leak problems with that. So, if you're end up in a situation like that, yeah, Teflon tape should work fine. So, the pump is currently pumping a mixture of 25% antifreeze to 75% distilled water. Uh, in reality, it's a half and half mixture of distilled water and... 50-50 pre-diluted antifreeze coolant car antifreeze it's been running this for about about four months now and before that it was running Primo Chill PCI's which unfortunately after a while started growing algae and I had to flush out the entire system because of that crap but yeah um, the pump is very quiet especially when you have it on sound dampening material like I have right now now of course the noise in the background is the wood stove fan which is kind of noisy. It gets annoying after a while. Um, but the pump is really quiet. It's You can't even really hear it. And I must say, it's 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 done well. And I should mention that this, this machine does not shut off unless the power is out. This computer runs all the time, 24-7. The only time it's off is when we have outages, which it's not common at all. As a matter of fact, um, throughout, throughout all of 2018, we have not had any actual outages under them, maybe a few five second power blinks. And you know, during those times, if I wasn't holding the turn machine back on, it would it would sit turned off for the remainder of that day till I got home from work, but I mean, those days were few and far between. This machine ram practically all the time and so did this water pump and for those of you who are kind of skeptical about getting this pump I mean I can understand your concern and with something as generic as this you know one could be perfect while another could be kind of shoddy it's a course it is this possibility but um you know from my experience I'd say give it a shot. Uh, the thing is built really well. Um, 
Matter of fact, there's some videos out there, I think on, on YouTube, of uh, people buying these pumps and dissecting them, you know, opening them up to show you the internals of them. And it's, just, it's, a, it's a neat little design. It has a three pin fan connector that plugs into your motherboard or power supply. And for one, though, it can be speed limited. I have this running at full speed. I always have it running at full speed. So, yeah, that's another thing to keep in mind. Been running at full speed all this time. Now, when I had the Primo Chill PCI cooling in there, there were a couple of times where this thing would chatter a bit. And I think it was due to the uh, viscosity of the coolant. Um, the Primo Chill PCI was very thin. Very thin. The glycol in the car antifreeze is a bit thicker. And even at a 25 to 75% mixture, it's a bit thicker than what was originally in here. And the pump actually has to, has the pump actually has a little bit more load on it because of that. And it's been faring just fine. Matter of fact, with the car antifreeze, as I kind of mentioned, with the car antifreeze, I haven't had any issues with noise from the pump at all. And it's, it's been working perfectly. So it's pumping the coolant through this giant radiator. And it's getting fed down to a Rayswarm Pro water block. So yeah. I definitely say I can recommend this pump after one year of service. It's been, been reliable. So far so good. Knock on wood. So anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well guys, that's it for this one, but it doesn't have to be, there's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button, and if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel, I definitely appreciate it, and remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel, it's CubeCompMTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for your support.